6 Exercises to Cure Chronic Knee, Foot, or Hip Pain Between 15 and 25% of people in the U.S. suffer from chronic knee pain. This part of the body is the second largest source of reoccurring pain, and once you add in the feet and hips, it turns out that the legs can cause big problems for a lot of people. And even if you aren't bothered by any incessant pain, we all get tired, sore feet from constantly being on the go. So here are some exercises to get your knees, feet, and hips feeling a lot better. Get ready, because we're going to do them all together! Exercise number 1. Heel Raises You'll need to grab a chair for this exercise. Stand behind it and use the back of the chair to support yourself. Raise your left leg behind you and bend the knee at a 90 degree angle. Slowly raise the heel of your right leg until you're standing on your toes. That's right, take it slow. Hold this position for about 5 seconds. Now, slowly lower the heel back down to the floor. Let's do 10 reps for this leg. Lift up. And now, back down. Lift up. 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 Back down. This exercise helps strengthen your ankles and works the muscles around the knee. A few more. Great job! Let's change legs. If you are doing it with your right leg, now bend it back and start raising your left heel. Another 10 repetitions. And don't hurry. Almost there. And well done! Exercise number 2. Tiptoeing. This is a super easy exercise that you can do while picking up around the house, getting ready for work or school, or anytime really. Simply tiptoe around your house kind of quickly. This will strengthen your calves and give a little workout to your toes and the balls of your feet. Aim to do this exercise regularly for 5 to 15 minutes or until you get tired. So, let's try it right now. Get on those tippy toes and start walking around the room. We'll do this for a minute straight. Besides strengthening your calves, this exercise helps improve your balance by reducing the area in contact with the ground, which makes keeping your balance quite a challenge. Strengthen your glutes and core muscles. Improve your posture while simultaneously relieving back pain. Increase the flexibility of your ankles. Stretch the muscles around your shins, which are an otherwise difficult muscle group to target. Okay, time's up. You can lower your heels now, but don't relax just yet. Exercise number three, ankle circles. Any of you prone to rolling your ankle while taking a step the wrong way, or maybe slipping on some ice? This strengthening exercise will definitely help out your weak ankles. Raise your right leg while in a seated or standing position. Just choose which position is more comfortable for you. Start rotating your right foot in a circular motion. Don't rush it. You should do this exercise slowly. Do 10 clockwise motions and follow that up with 10 counterclockwise circles for the right foot. Then do the same for your left foot. 
Let's start. This exercise helps loosen up the tendons and muscles in your legs and ankles. When these muscles are stiff, it can lead to knee, back, and even neck pain. So by doing these ankle circles, you'll improve your flexibility, range of motion, and overall comfort while walking or standing. Are you all done? Great job! Let's move on to the next exercise. Exercise number four, resistance training. If you couldn't tell by the name, you'll need a resistance band for this exercise. Fit the band around a leg of your couch or any sturdy piece of furniture. Bend your left leg slightly and use your left foot to support your right ankle. Grab onto the resistance band with your right foot. Slowly pull the band by flexing your right foot towards you. Do 15 reps on your right foot. This exercise targets the muscles in your calves and inner and outer thighs, not only toning, but also strengthening them. Remember, do it slowly and take your time. Now, let's do the same thing with your left foot. Place your left leg over the right one. Use your left foot to grab the resistance band. Now, pull the band towards you by flexing your left foot. Remember, 15 slow and careful reps. Keep it up. Come on, almost there. Three, two, one, and done. <sighs> Exercise number five, toe games. Our poor little toes often get left out when it comes to exercising, but it's important to work their itsy bitsy muscles too. And to do that, we're going to play a game you probably always used to play as a kid, grabbies. You'll need a towel, a bowl or basket, and a couple of small objects. Put a towel on the floor and try to pick it up using just your toes. How's it going? Piece of cake or pretty tough? If you're having difficulties, you can pause the video and practice a bit until you manage to lift the towel with your toes on the first try. All right. Let's take things to the next level now. Place the small objects on the ground and try to put them in the bowl or basket using your toes only. Just don't try this with Legos or anything. Ouch! It's not easy, is it? Practice every day and soon enough you'll be able to pick up dirty clothes from the floor and fling them into the laundry basket using just your toes and legs. Not that that's from personal experience or anything. Um. Anyway, this exercise is important because it strengthens the tiny muscles in your toes and feet. They tend to be underdeveloped, which can be a big problem since they support your arches, keep your toes properly aligned, and even contribute to balance. If these muscles don't get worked properly, you can end up with foot disorders and deformities like flat feet or bunions. Exercise number six, rolling foot massage. The next exercise works the muscles in the heels and balls of your feet. It's also a nice relaxing massage for your arches. Find a tennis ball or similar sized ball. Sit down on a chair and place your foot on the ball. Using your foot, slowly roll the ball towards your toes and then back towards your heel. Repeat this motion 20 times on each foot. Try to do this massage on a daily basis and do as many reps as you want or have time for. It gives the bottom of your foot a nice stretch and prevents foot-related injuries in the long run. Bonus! 
You've done such a great job at these exercises and trying to take care of the health of your feet and legs that you deserve a bonus. Acupressure and foot massages are widely used around the world, but whoever said you couldn't do it on yourself? If your feet are killing you after a long day, use one thumb to put pressure on the spot between your big toe and pointer toe and use the other thumb to press the point between your ring and pinky toe. Gently massage those spots for up to 15 minutes for easy and quick relaxation. Enjoy! Do you do any of these exercises to deal with the pain in your legs? Do you have any of your own tricks? Tell us in the comments section below. Share this video with all your friends, and if it was useful for you, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do it now. There are so many more videos coming out every day on the Bright Side of Life.